Let me see Jack Harlow got his first ring dinger. That was like a month ago, man. Of course I watched that. And I'm also assuming a lot of you saw that, uh, I think she was a college student, went to a chiropractor and ended up paralyzed from it. I told you guys that shit happens from time to time, man. Chiropractic is super fucking scary. Those neck manipulations are no joke. Though this this whole topic just reminded me. Does anyone have a source for this shit? Uh, let me find it. Will it come up with this? Okay. I, I've seen this guy's TikToks float around on Twitter a lot. So he finds, like, the wildest chiropractics videos. So shit like this. But the one that really stands out... Where is it? Yeah, the butt hammer one's good too, but there's one that I really want to show. It doesn't look like he's posted it on YouTube. It's It looks like an assassination attempt. The chiropractor gets behind a girl, puts his hands around her neck, and then just drops down, bringing her head towards her ass. And, like, her whole back folds on itself. It shit, it, this shit is so crazy. I, was, I want to know the source. I would really love to know where those are. I love that crazy chiropractic shit. The reverse RKO. Well, here. Actually, I'll just pull it up my phone and show you. Maybe someone will know where this is from. Because he just, like, shows them to make fun of them. But they, someone actually did these things. Like, this is a real practice somewhere. And I just want to know where. Here. Does anyone know where this is from? Oh, whoops. Wow. Who is this chiropractor? Does anyone know? Yeah, it gets her with like an actual fatality. So yeah, all he does is add like the uh, the stock cracking sound effects, but the the moves and everything you're seeing, they actually did to a <laughs> very poor souls that went to them. Is there sub Raymond and Abigail and Blade and Cassidy? I'm a physical therapist and chiropractors give us the most patience due to their mistakes. It's not uncommon. The paralysis and death from chiropractors also isn't the most uncommon thing. It happens not commonly by any means, but it, it does happen more often than you'd think. I was talking about that on stream not long ago, like only a couple months ago. And then I think it was last week that video went viral of the college student that got paralyzed now from it. In fact, did you guys know, here I'll pull this up, it's very fascinating, chiropractic's origins. Chiropractics isn't an actual field, it's not like an actual scientific field, they're not real doctors or anything, it's not like a medically confirmed thing, it's just quackery, it's pseudoscience. But the origin of it is, it's wild. So, here. It dates back to 1895. Let me pull it up. Yep. 1895, when Daniel David Palmer shoved a single cervical... Uh, hold on, let me go down to where it really gets crazy. Uh, where's the religion part? Hold on, let me just control F here. This is a pretty long article. Oh, this doesn't talk about it? Hold on, hold on. Let me pull up a different one then. What, they don't talk about this shit? Where it was originally supposed to be like a religion? So here's one article from Psychology Today, but I wanted like the longer one. 
Okay. This will have to suffice for now. I can't find the longer articles from the other day, but here. It was a metaphysical religion that Daniel David Palmer was practicing, and he attributes the discovery of chiropractics to communications from disembodied spirits of deceased physicians. He originally, like, f like went about this as a religious thing, as a heal-all kind of thing, from spirits. Spirits told him and transmitted the information to him. That's the origins of chiropractics. That for some reason people still believe is a real thing today. So is the ring dinger a demon? <laughs> it must be. What if it's through an ex-doctor? Then they're very irresponsible. Like, it's... You can crack, you know, make little manipulations. Like, cracking your knuckles sometimes feels good for, like, ephemeral pain relief. But it's not an actual solution to anything. It doesn't actually fix anything. It can help with, like, resetting muscle length, I suppose. But it's not, like, an actual solution. Things that prime Labrache and the resub Bob and Draco. But it's kind of popping off now. Like, chiropractics is it's catching fire. I've been seeing a lot of chiropractics on babies recently on TikTok. And people preaching about how their baby needs to visit the chiropractor chiropractor for crucial adjustments. It's sickening. I've all, there's also now that chiropractor who specializes in animals. So I'm sure you saw that viral clip on Twitter where he takes the dog's neck and... Cranks it and the dog like looks terrified for a minute. Yeah, it's getting it's getting so weird. I went, voice crack, I went to a chiropractor a couple months ago and he really fucked up my neck and my spine felt twisted. Naturally, I was scared. Chiropractors are con artists. Yeah, I had no idea chiropractors weren't legit until I went to one. I went to one one time because my grandma swears by him. So I went to the same chiropractor, a very well-renowned chiropractor, even works on professional athletes in the area. And he, like, slightly herniated a disc in my neck. And I have never forgiven them since. The neck manipulations are legitimately dangerous. As proof by the woman who was just paralyzed from it. She's not alone. That's happened a f quite a few times. Is there a Reka? Horse chiropractic. Well, that's what, I was, that's what I was just saying about the animal chiropractics. That shit is so wild. Would they be charged with murder if they accidentally killed a patient, or is there a waiver? Oh, no, there's, there's a waiver, I'm pretty sure, here. I mean, I'll just pull this up, I guess. I'm, I'm sure most people already saw this. The video went viral. I don't think they can actually sue. God, they post a lot. A 28-year-old woman lies paralyzed in the ICU. The result, her family says, of a neck adjustment by a chiropractor. Caitlin Jensen was fun-loving and loved the outdoors. Her mom is devastated. She can communicate only by yeah, it's fucking sad. blinking. Is it prime? Um, she can right. nod there some now. Daddy. She can also give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the left side. The she Marina. cannot True. speak. She's just laying there. 
What is it like for you as a mom to see her like this? It's heartbreaking. If I could trade places with her, I would do it in a heartbeat. And she's got her whole life ahead of her. So it's just, it crushes me. Caitlin went to a local chiropractor in Savannah, Georgia for a stiff neck after studying for college exams. During her neck adjustment, her family says things started to go horribly wrong. Four arteries were ruptured. She suffered a stroke and cardiac arrest. So it's one thing that, it, again, common is not the right word, but it does happen with chiropractors and spe specifically the neck manipulations. Arterial dissection is what it's called. So what will happen is you'll get the neck adjustment and blood clot, like a little pop blood clot can go right to your brain, give you a stroke. Another story from not that long ago, a woman went there, got her neck manipulated, and on the way home while she was driving home suffered a stroke from the neck manipulation. Shit is crazy. Clearly she had underlying conditions. No, <laughs> no. You you can't even try that. No. Look look into it yourself. It's not a real medical field. It's it's not considered a medical field by anybody anywhere. It's it's actual pseudoscience. The underlying condition is her neck got snapped in half. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean Oh yeah, here, well, here it is, already talking about the baby chiropractics. I didn't realize it dated back even six years ago. It was kind of wild. Is the resub douche? We talked about this on stream fucking years ago. Well, yeah, because every every now and then there's like a really tragic situation from chiropractors. Then we end up in the rabbit hole of like chiropractors like Dr. Greg with the ring dinger. <clears throat> and it's just a slippery slope, man. It's, it's wild stuff. <clears throat> it's very entertaining to watch, though. And shit makes me laugh. They get like their little hammer out. He's the prime Nev. Bo Hightower's the biggest one. Well, yeah, here. Let me show you why. You starting to see why a little bit? From the celebrities and the uh, lack of clothing. He's not doing it as much now, it seems. Seems like he's finally graduating from that, mainly focusing on celebrities. But he made his name through getting in the recommended algorithm by just having women in bikinis and doing manipulations on them. Have you watched the new Atomic Heart trailer? I have not. Partially right, it's not complete pseudoscience. It's very, very exaggerated what chiropractics can do past simply making people feel better. I'm, I'm not partially right. The actual act of the chiropractics is the pseudoscience, but a lot of them are smart enough to use actual physiotherapy in their sessions. So what'll happen is they'll do their dumb chiropractic shit, but the physiotherapy helps the patients a little bit more. So then it kind of is beneficial. 
But, like, again, it's not a legitimate medical field. And it never has been. But yeah, the physiotherapy, the actual therapeutic massage, that kind of stuff is beneficial and proven to be beneficial. And chiropractics use that. What's the humming? Oh, that was Tiana. I think she just went outside. You blame everything on her? Well, th people ask what the noises are. It's just her making noise. She went outside. What do you want from me?